Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marquita, and on today's video, I'm gonna be doing a flip through of this new Erin Condren binder that I showed you guys that I received. I've got it all set up. I was so excited to use it. It is actually an 18 month planner. I think in my last video, I said it was a year planner, um, but it was an 18 month planner, which means I was able to take a month from the back because I don't think I'll be in this a year from now. You guys know how I switch it up. And Erin Condren is gonna come out with something new, I'm sure, or happy planner, and I'm gonna wanna switch it up. So I went ahead and pulled them up from the back so I could use it now. So if you're new here to my channel, I hope you'll stick around, that you'll consider subscribing and also giving me a thumbs up on this video if you enjoy it. So let's jump right in and flip through this baby. So excited to show you. If you wanna see that, make sure to stay tuned. So if you do not know, Erin Condra has come out with a binder system um, and it is super fabulous. It allows you to be able to customize things, move things around, kind of similar to the Happy Planner um, or any binder system. So I really love that they came out with that so that way I can kind of maneuver things because you guys know I did have a previous Erin Condra that I thought I was going to use for my social media planner. But once I received this, I looked at them both and I decided to go with this. So I'm going to flip through it for you today. And so let's go ahead and do that. So first and foremost, when you open it up, you see that same cover that you're familiar with. I pulled this off of my old Erin Condren that I just received, the hourly layout. Um, this is actually a horizontal layout, which is new for me because you guys know I typically don't lean towards horizontal, but I decided to try it out. So uh, the beautiful thing about the Erin Condren system is that you can actually pull the cover off and you can put it in this binder system because of how everything is lined up so that's pretty cool and so that's what I've got first is just that cover just because this is my at home with Kita my business planner my social media planner and I like having this cover and I didn't want it to go to waste so that's what I've got first and foremost and then we're just gonna continue flipping through I do need to write my name there which I will do I eventually am going to come up with some divider dashboards as well, just like I have them for the Happy Planner. I just wish Erin Condren had a punch because um, right now, if I want to insert anything in, I have to pull out a page, dot it, you know, and where I want to punch and then punch it with the regular hole punch. And that's not always fun. So hopefully in the future, sometimes she comes out with a hole punch, especially since this whole binder system is supposed to be kind of like... Um, you know more functional and you're able to kind of move things around and add things to the planner um, there should definitely be a punch so this first section is just your standard stuff your um, years at a glance and then we get to these pages which I haven't quite figured out how I'm going to use yet but once I do I'll revisit this and show you guys an updated planner um, flip through so first and foremost we get to this um, dashboard here which I purchased from Erin Condren again it snaps right in because it lines up and um, so what this is intended for his video ideas and so if you can see down um, on the left hand side there's a list here of videos some of them have been uploaded already some of them are just in the early stages um, like the uh, binder review and the teacher planner that I just recently received by the time you see this video that will have already been uploaded but those videos are actually in the um, they've been filmed they haven't been edited or anything else so let me just pull this out so you can see so these are just videos that I want to do, whether they be planner videos, household videos, all types of videos, um, just a whole list of ideas. So as you can see, there's film, edit, upload, thumbnail, description, end screen, card, tags, Instagram posts, Facebook posts, and Instagram stories. That's kind of how I do things. That's the sequence of which um, I kind of film a video and it comes from the filming process all the way up to posting it. And so I like having the list there so as things are done, and a lot of this stuff is done like all at one time, um, then I can check them off as they're done. And so that way I know that video is done. So the idea here is to get all of this stuff filmed so that way I can erase this and I can add new ideas. Um, so I do need to add this video because, like I said, at the time of me filming it right now, I want to I wanna have it on this list. So this is my EC flip through. 
So that's all the space I have. So I definitely need to get this stuff done so I can erase it and add more stuff. So I keep a Sharpie pin or Sharpie at the bottom of my planner because um, I like this uh, used better with a Sharpie. I do have wet erase and dry erase markers as well, but I just find that I like using the Sharpie better. Um, it just works out better for me. So that's what I've got down here. And I just used one of my, um, you guys know, I really, really love these pen loops and I try to keep them in the description box just in case you guys are interested. So I'm gonna put this back. And I do also have a, um, what pen is this? Pentel pen. I love this Pentel pen. It writes really, really good. So I keep that at the top. I like having two pins in my planner. So that way, depending on what I'm trying to write, I can grab the pen that works best for me. So that's what's here. And on the back, because in my previous Erin Condren planner, and technically in this planner, it didn't start until July. So I needed a place to write some things down until that planner was ready. But again, I went ahead and pulled June, and now I can use this planner. So that's what this was. Next up, we have this little list here. I am coming up with a planner series. And so I have some name ideas here, and I have some video ideas here. So you guys let me know if I have everything covered. So I was thinking these ideas um, and uh, it'll kind of be like a Planner 101 series, but I don't think I'm gonna call it Planner 101. I think I'm gonna call it Planner Academy or Planner University, something like that. So I'm still kind of toying with ideas. So basically what I did is I found an old Erin Condren planner that I had some extra paper in because this planner doesn't have much paper. So I'm hoping that Erin Condren comes out with a pack of paper because I need additional paper um, and that would be very helpful. So I grabbed that paper from that planner, I trimmed it and then I punched it so that way I could have this little half sheet sort of thing in my planner. Um, so I think I was able to get like two or three pages from that older planner. And then we get to June and this is the little dashboard page that is new for Erin Condren. And so what I decided to do with it is on the left hand side is going to kind of be my brainstorm of things I want to do. This will kind of be like where I start um, before I even get to my weeklies or monthly. Well, I'll probably have my monthly done, but this is going to be kind of like pre-planning. So I'm going to dump everything all out here, um, certain things, and then I'll schedule them on the calendar as needed. I also have a little sticky note down here for some other things I need to do. Um, on the right hand side, how I have it broken out is I have my monthly goals, so that's gonna stay the same. I have social stats um, and I've broken it down by YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. So I'm gonna put my starting number there so that way at the end of the month I can see how much I've grown. And then also my revenue for YouTube, Amazon, my um, Aaron Condren, and my two shops. Um, I'm gonna put that there as well so I can see how much I've grown in that regard as well. At the bottom will be business development, so like what I want to read for the month, any podcasts I'm listening to, anything I want to watch, all of that stuff is going to be in this section. And then over here is going to be my purchases, so anything I spend for the month business-wise will be tracked here, and then um, I'll transfer them into... Um, another location as needed so that's what this page is going to be for as you can see i decorated it with like a floral theme i use the happy planner stickers and they worked out really really well so next page is my calendar section and so this is a very important section for me this is where i come um, and i have all of my uh, videos scheduled here in terms of what i'm going to film and upload on each day and then anything i need to do outside of that as well um, if i want to go live like as you can see here on the ninth i was planning on going live so by the time you watch this I will have already gone live probably um, or not gone live you guys know how I feel about that but my husband thinks uh, we should go live again so that's the plan and then on the right hand side I've got some ideas so I'm just going to write out any ideas I can think of um, and some of that stuff will probably be located here as well um, and I want to plan it out for the month so some of this stuff might be written out here but it just is brainstorming so even if it doesn't pertain or need to be done in this particular month I'm gonna still write it there and then as I want to do it depending on the month I want to do it in I'll just write it in here and then it'll go to the, the weekly so that's the plan so we'll see how it all works out and then this is my standard video ideas uh, for wildcard Wednesday and in general um, these are typically the type of videos that I film and upload and then that is my schedule which I have changed a little bit um, everything is gonna be the same except I'm gonna do social media Saturday so that I can incorporate this Aaron Condren into my video um, uploads uh, otherwise because it is a social media planner I would have to do it on wildcard Wednesdays which means you guys wouldn't get to see an Aaron Condren video every week and I think that that's important 
important since I'm using this um, for you guys to be able to see me plan in an Erin Condren planner on a weekly basis. So that's the plan. And then Sunday, I'm going to try to do a craft with me in an IGTV. We'll see. Y'all know my weekends have been jam-packed, so it's been a little bit difficult. I also punched this paper. This is a piece of Happy Planner paper. I punched it, and then I put slits in it, y'all, so that way I can remove it and add it. And I did the same thing with all of the other pages ahead of these pages. So as the weeks and months go on, I'll be punching the page so that way I can pull it in and take it out easily. So these boxes here are from the colorful boxes. As you can see, the florals are really pretty. And then I redated this month because again, I pulled it from a different section in 2020. It's June, 2020. And so the dates were off. So I pulled some stickers from my shop, these date dots. So that way I could redate this planner. All right, so next is my weekly spread. I did um, add this Erin Condren ruler here so that way I can split out or easily come to this section because this is where I'll probably spend the majority of my time in my weekly section. So let me just show you how I have it broken down. This is the horizontal planner. And um, so these are the sections that I'm gonna work with. It's similar to the teacher planner um, in terms of the sections I have broken out. And I thought this would work best. I did want the teacher Erin Condren planner, which I do have but it's a bigger size it's just super big i didn't think it was going to be that big i don't typically use a planner that big plus it's colorful um so they accidentally sent me the wrong planner which is fine and so i'm working on getting that sorted out uh, but i really wanted that layout because i love how it looks and how easily it would be to for me to kind of sort things out because as you can see there's no dates here so in that teacher planner i would have been able to have dates across the top but in this planner i can only put what dates it's for so this this is for the week of the 10th through the 16th and so this is everything that I'll need to do broken down my subject for that week so it's not broken out by day which is okay I think this is gonna work out fine so the first top part here is for YouTube so that's gonna be everything I need to film for that day and any other things I need to do for YouTube and then um, this right hand section on both sides is gonna be for ideas so if I quickly think of a video idea or something like that I want to just really quickly write it in then I'll write it in this space here same thing with my shop if I think of like a, a package I want to do or like a sticker sheet I want to do or anything like that I'll write it in here and so on and so forth so that is the plan for the weekly layout i do also have another half sheet in here from the happy planner which, which i decorated in a floral theme it is my videos that i need to upload or film um, this on the back here is pretty much what you saw on that other page that dashboard page um, it kind of starts here and then i'll transfer it over there and um, on the front here these are all the videos that i already have filmed so i have each and every one of these videos filmed already i'm filming this video right now but decided to go ahead and write it in and so i need to upload all of these videos edit and upload all these videos and uh, post them to my youtube channel so i like to have a list of what i have already recorded so that way i'll know what i need to upload um, so that's what that is. So I really, really love how the spread turned out. I think it's really pretty. I used the Gold Getter sticker books from the Happy Planner and it just worked out really well. And so I'm really, really excited to plan in this planner. Um, the only thing I had to cover up was this little strip here at the top uh, because I it is a neutral planner, but it still has little pops of color here and there. And that doesn't go with every single spread. And so that's really the only thing I had to cover up. Um, and then I used the colorful boxes to identify what each subject uh, is going to be. So again, YouTube, my shop, uh, one of my shops, my second shop, social media, blog, brands, um, anything I want to bulk film, um, and then business development. So these subjects could change depending on uh, my needs at that time. But right now, I think these are going to work out just fine. So that is pretty much it, guys. Um, and again, I have two pins here. I have my Pentel pen and I have my Sharpie marker here at the bottom. And also, let me keep going. What am I talking about? That's it. Let's go to the back. Um, everything else is just my monthlies. Again, this is an 18 month planner. I pulled about maybe six months out of this planner because it, I didn't want it to get too bulky. Uh, so I have them stored so I can easily add them when I'm ready if I'm still in this planner at that time. So in the back here in this folder, which did come with it, I just put some stickers here from a previous Erin Conjure planner so I could have some stickers to plan on the go. Their stickers are very functional, so I love her stickers. Uh, and then this is my to film sticker sheet because I use these so often I put them in here as well. And then I found this folder from an old Erin Conjure planner and it already had these uh, coil clip thingies on there. So I just added this here as well as some sticky notes for some pre-planning. I, um, I really like having sticky notes in here because I just think they're easy to pull and 
and uh, if you need to just kind of put something, write something in real quick, you can do that. Uh, also, I did add some more filler paper to the monthly section. I added these pages. Again, I pulled them from a previous Erin Condren planner and just folded them in half so I could have them, um, you know, extra paper back there. And then this is from the Happy Planner and I just trimmed it down and I cut it. And that's pretty much it. So I could have some extra paper here in the back. So that is it for this planner, guys. So I'm really, really loving using it so far. I had a full afternoon yesterday of planning in my bed and I made this my own. And I think I made it pretty functional for its intended use, which is gonna be social media and business planning. The only thing sometimes is closing it. It gets a little wonky. I might have to do this and then kind of shimmy that so that way it closes completely. But that is just a binder struggle in general. Nothing has to do with Aaron Condren binder system itself it's just you know binder problems typical binder problems so that's it for this video guys and i'm sorry if i sound a little stuffy i have been feeling under the weather lately so i'm trying to get better but um i'm still mobile and i'm still able to move around it's just a little congested so i am sorry about that but i'll get better soon so thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you stopping by today let me know in the comments below if you like this setup are you on board with social media saturday so that way you could see aaron conjuring uh, playing with me on a weekly basis um, I just thought it would be important because uh, some of you are joining my channel new welcome from Aaron Condren and so I definitely think that you'd want to see more Aaron Condren videos on my channel so that's the plan but I thank you guys so much for stopping by hopefully you were inspired in some way which means you'll come back and you'll join me for another video in which case I'll see you then.